Well, it's never been easier to check road conditions out there. CBS 2 News reporter Marissa Scott joins us live now with one new way to get some real time updates. This is really cool, Marissa. Yes, it's really cool, Tiffany. And when it's snowy, cold and windy, it does take us a few extra minutes to get anywhere. But two years ago, the Iowa Department of Transportation put iPhones in their snow plows just so that people can see what the roads look like before they head out the door. The picture's worth a thousand words. For one snowplow driver, making sure his iPhone camera is on and ready is the first thing he does when he hops in the truck. Conditions vary a lot and sometimes it's hard to tell by just looking out your window. He wants to make sure drivers know what the roads look like before they travel. It's important, I mean, if people are maybe venturing to work that night or in the daytime even, they can see what's going on on the particular road that they're going to be on. It's why the Iowa Department of Transportation is adding a hundred more cameras so drivers around the state can be more prepared to drive in winter weather conditions. It's a great benefit for travelers. They can look at it, see what the road conditions actually are from the plow's point of view and make that really critical decision to decide, do I need to take this trip? Drivers can go to the Iowa Department website, click on the winter driving conditions tab and track the plow on a statewide map that pops up the images with real-time information, including air temperature and wind speed. Cutler says it's a good tool to use when the visibility can be low. And the ones that have the cameras on it will actually show a picture of the roadway in front of the plow. Take a look and see exactly what we're seeing out there on the road. Now Cutler says there will be six cameras in the snow plows throughout the Cedar Rapids area. And some other tips that she said is slow down and make sure that you keep a good distance between you and other drivers. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Marissa Scott, CBS 2 News.